today we are going to see the demo for student booking php web application now let's see how to start the project first open the xamp control panel start the mysql database and apache web server next go to the visual studio code Explore the project folder and then click the readme text. Here you can see the login details and then project URLs. Copy the localhost PHP my admin and paste to the browser. Left side you can able to see the backend database. Click the database name. You can view the database tables. Click the table name, you can view the data. Explore the web folder. Here you can see the project delivery files. Explore the JS folder, you can see the Angular JS files. Click the file name, you can view the source code. And then click the HTML file, you can view the HTML source code. And then click the PHP file, you can view the PHP source code. Next, to click the README text, copy the project URL and paste to the browser. Here we have three roles, admin, teacher and student. Let's start with the teacher. Enter the teacher's email ID and password. Then click the login button. So login successful. Teacher can create and view the slot details. And then view the booking details and then update the status. And then view the messages. Click the create slot. And then click create slot. Here you can enter the time and then enter the date. Once you do that, click the submit button, it will be created. Whatever has been created, you can view here. If you want to export it in Excel or PDF format, you can do it here. Here you can use the search options. Next, click the appointment. Here you can view the booking details. Click the status. Here you can update the status whether it is approved, pending, or cancelled. Once you do that, click the post button, it will be submitted. Then click the messages. Here you can view the message message details. Next to move to the student. Before you log in, you have to register. Click the student register. Here you can enter all the field for student registration. Enter the name. Then enter the email ID. And enter the password, mobile number. And then enter the address and city.
seven meters answers once you do that click the register button so the password must be in eight digit it must contain one capital letter one special character and then numbers registered successfully then log in the student student can book the appointment and then view the booking details and then view the profile and the message details click the appointment Here you can book the appointment. Click the book button. Here you can view the slot details. What are the slot you want to book? Click the book button. Here you can enter the email ID. And then click the submit button. It will be created. Whatever has been created, you can view here. And then click the message. Here you can enter the name and then enter the message. Then click the submit button. Once you do that, it will be posted. And then click the my profile. Here you can view the user profile details. If you want to update anything, you can do it here. And then click the my message. Here you can view your message details. Next move to the admin. Enter the admin email ID and password. Then click the login button. Admin can add the teachers and then update the teacher details. Click the add teacher. Here you can enter all the field for add the teachers. Enter the name, email id, password and then enter the mobile number, department, subject, address, designation. Once you do that, click the submit button, it will be added. And then click the update teacher. Here you can view the teacher details. If you want to update or delete anything, you can do it here. So this is a student booking PHP web application. Code shopping.